chapters 91 through 97 the concluding section of the book chapters 92 through 105 chapter 92 and 91 verses 1 through 10 and verses 18 through 19 enoch's book of admonition for his children chapter 92 the book written by enoch enoch indeed wrote this complete doctrine of wisdom which is praised of all men and a judge of all the earth for all my children who shall dwell on the earth and for the future generations who shall observe uprightness and peace let not your spirit be troubled on account of the times for the holy and great one has appointed days for all things and the righteous one shall arise from sleep shall arise and walk in the paths of righteousness and all his path and conversation shall be in eternal goodness and grace he will be gracious to the righteous and give him eternal uprightness and he will give him power so that he shall be endowed with goodness and righteousness and he shall walk in eternal light and sin shall perish in darkness for ever and shall no more be seen from that day for evermore chapter ninety one verses one through eleven and eighteen through nineteen enoch's admonition to his children chapter ninety one and now my son methuselah call to me all thy brothers and gather together to me all the sons of thy mother for the word calls me and the spirit is poured out upon me that i may show you everything that shall befall you for ever and thereupon methuselah went and summoned to him all his brothers and assembled his relatives and he spake unto all the children of righteousness and said hear ye sons of enoch all the words of your father and hearken aright to the voice of my mouth for i exhort you and say unto you beloved love uprightness and walk therein and draw not nigh to uprightness with a double heart and associate not with those of a double heart but walk in righteousness my sons and it shall guide you on good paths and righteousness shall be your companion for i know that violence must increase on the earth and a great chastisement be executed on the earth and all unrighteousness come to an end yea it shall be cut off from its roots and its whole structure be destroyed and unrighteousness shall again be consummated on the earth and all the deeds of unrighteousness and of violence and transgression shall prevail in a twofold degree and when sin and unrighteousness and blasphemy and violence and all kinds of deeds increase and apostasy and transgression and uncleanness increase a great chastisement shall come from heaven upon all these and the holy lord will come forth with wrath and chastisement to execute judgment on earth in those days violence shall be cut off from its roots and the roots of unrighteousness together with deceit and they shall be destroyed from under heaven and all the idols of the heathen shall be abandoned and the temples burned with fire and they shall remove them from the whole earth and they i e the heathen shall be cast into the judgment of fire and shall perish in wrath and in grievous judgment for ever and the righteous shall arise from their sleep and wisdom shall arise and be given unto them and after that the roots of unrighteousness shall be cut off and the sinners shall be destroyed by the sword shall be cut off from the blasphemers in every place and those who plan violence and those who commit blasphemy shall perish by the sword and now i tell you my sons and show you the paths of righteousness and the paths of violence yea i will show them to you again that you may know what will come to pass and now hearken unto me my sons and walk in the paths of righteousness and walk not in the paths of violence for all who walk in the paths of unrighteousness shall perish for ever